Hello and welcome to Basic for Android. My name is Arelo Z and I'll show you the steps required in order to get started with Basic for Android. Basic for Android supports two compilation modes. This tutorial covers remote compilation mode, which is simpler, however, it is also more limited. The first step is to download and install the trial version. After the IDE is installed, we shall install B4A bridge on the device. In order to use B4A Bridge, we need to allow installation of applications from unknown sources. Now we will connect the IDE to the device. This can be done over wireless or Bluetooth. Note that local compilation mode supports other methods as well, including support for the emulator. If both the desktop and the device are connected to the same local network, then we can connect over wireless. On the device, we need to run B4A Bridge and start listening to wireless connections. We will take the device IP address and enter it in the IDE. You can see that the status message has changed to connected. When we first connect B4A Bridge, it asks us to install the designer component. Now we can run our first program. First, we need to save the project. Clicking on the Run button will install the application and run it. On the device, we need to approve the installation. Note that this step is not required if you are using USB debug mode instead of before average. If your desktop has a Bluetooth adapter, then you can also connect over Bluetooth. On the device, we choose Start Bluetooth, and we allow the device to be visible to other devices. In the IDE, we choose Connect Bluetooth. Find Devices. We need to click on the correct one and choose Connect. As this is the first time I connect this device, it asks me to approve the pair key. Again, you can see the connected message. So now we can run our application and install it over Bluetooth. Thank you for trying BASIC for Android. The best way to continue from here is to download the beginner's guide from the documentation page. Hope to see you around in our forums.
Bye-bye.